Samsung brings more color options to their Galaxy Note 3 lineup. There are some good and bad news coming from HTC, and beware Nexus smartphones as apparently they are a target of a hack. I'm Jaime Rivera, and probably one of the things I like the most about this weather is aside from the noise, the fact that I get to give my polo some rest. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Samsung is offering more color options to their Galaxy Note 3. You can now get a golden trim for the phone if you don't want the metallic silver one that's already available. And aside from that, you can also get the phone in full red. Now, what's even more interesting is the fact that the phone is not being announced anywhere else but Argentina. And we can't really understand why that's happening. It's probably being leaked early or something, but we'll most likely get this very soon. We just don't know the dates. Now let's talk about HTC as their 2014 forecast doesn't seem to be positive at all as apparently the company is only planning to sell 14 million phones during the whole year. And just to give you an idea, Apple sells 14 million phones in a couple of weeks. So this is really odd, not really sure why HTC is expecting this. We're hoping that their next lineup is much better than the one we had this year. But anyways, aside from that, if you're interested in getting Android 4.4 on your unlocked HTC One or also the developer edition, links down below for details. Now let's talk about Google's Nexus smartphones, and I'm talking about all the smartphones in the lineup that are current, because apparently they're now subject to a hack, just like you had in the past with the iPhones that were subject to SMS hacks that would reset your phone and also block it or lock it. Well, now we have this problem for all Nexus devices, and we can't really understand why it's specific to these phones. Just beware. Most likely, Google will be pushing an update soon to fix this or patch this, though uh, the company hasn't really pronounced themselves about it. Now let's talk about Microsoft and their plans for a successor to Steve Ballmer as the company has not called me yet, but I'm still waiting for them to do so. But even more interesting is the fact that Stephen Elop is being heard less and less in these new rumors coming from more trusted sources. Apparently they still keep talking about Alan Mulally from Ford. And it's funny because Ford again pronounced themselves saying that Alan Mulally is not interested, that he's staying in Ford. And we've got some other names in the links in the description, but it's interesting. I wish that they would say that Bill Gates is coming back at least for a year. And at least for one year just to bring the company back, but anyways. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, we get more trusted sources saying that Samsung will be ditching optical image stabilization from the camera of the Galaxy S5 and pretty much everything they'll launch in 2014. According to the source, they are more focused in making the phone thinner, and optical image stabilization will not allow that, but judging from the fact that we've got the iPhone 5S taking great low-light photography without it, it kind of begs to wonder if you really need it, but that leads me to the question of the day. Is optical image stabilization in a camera a deal breaker for you? Is that something you look for when you buy a phone? In my particular case it is, but then again with the iPhone 5S I stopped thinking about it. So leave us a comment down below, what do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera, thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.